remain silent. So we have been asked. Oh, and I just don't think this is going to start. Good morning, and thank you for coming. My name is Debbie McGrail Dinning, and I am the Media Relations Officer for the Hamilton Police Service. I would refer the media to the media release publications of May 7th, 9th, and 10th for details which led to the May 11th press conference announcing the arrest of Dellen Millard. The Chief will not take questions following his remarks, and a detailed investigative briefing will take place here at the Hamilton Police Headquarters at 2.30 p.m. today. Chief. It is with heavy heart that the Hamilton Police Service today announce the death of Ancaster resident Tim Bosma. The Hamilton Police Service has continued the relentless pursuit of all information and all leads focused on the single priority of finding Tim Bosma. Beginning with the May 6th disappearance of Tim, exhaustive investigative efforts took place, assisted by the community and assisted by the media. The investigation has taken place and the search has led to the development of a suspect and then an arrest. Investigations led to the execution of ongoing search warrants through May 11th and May 12th, and those warrants involved the search of multiple locations. We've been greatly assisted by the public in terms of providing leads, posting flyers and photos, and the continued exchange of current and timely information through social media. I wish to thank the members of the media for informing the communities across this province and across this nation of the ongoing details as they became known. The groundswell of support in the effort to locate Tim was tremendous. We were all working towards the same cause, find Tim Bosma and find those responsible. I also wish to thank all of our policing partners for their assistance and support. This investigation is long from over. We recognize the efforts of the OPP, Toronto, Brantford, Halton, and Waterloo Regional Police Services, and we are thankful for their strong partnership with the Hamilton Police Service. The command officers of this service are very proud of the dedication and the effort of our members of the Hamilton Police Service, who have worked in the most professional manner on the search and on the criminal investigation. And we still have a lot of work to do. Our investigation led to the identification of several locations related to the accused Dellen Millard. Authorized searches take place and evidence has been recovered. We cannot discuss all the evidence at this point given the ongoing criminal process. A number of searches have taken place and human remains have been located. We are convinced by the totality of the evidence that these are the remains of Tim Bosma. The evidence indicates that the remains have been burned. Our victim services branch is working with the Bosma family and we will continue to do so. Forensic investigators from the Center of Forensic Science are conducting their investigations our officers have been working diligently, nonstop on the rapid developments and the evidence, and we will continue. And we, re we require more time to work as we pursue those that are responsible for Tim's death. And I would ask at this time that we respect the family's privacy. Our heartfelt condolences go to Charlene and the entire Bosma family and friends as they mourn their loss personally and our community also mourns with them. I offer the condolences of this caring community that came together to help find Tim. And I offer the condolences and the ongoing support of the Hamilton Police Service. We will continue to follow every single lead. We will work to affect the arrest of those responsible for the death of Tim Bosma. Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh the lead investigator in this case 
will be here to provide an investigative briefing at 2.30 this afternoon. Thank you. Homicide Unit Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh will be here to brief you further at 2.30 p.m. today. Questions will be taken at that time. Tips have been critical to our ability to advance this investigation, and we encourage continued submission of tips to continue at 905-546-2100. I have a copy of the Chief's remarks for all of you, and thank you for coming today.